All right, hi guys. So after multiple requests from a lot of students that sir, apart from MCQs, we want to revise some of the theory portion as well. I have started uh, very short snippets for all of you guys, where I'll be discussing uh, one to two drugs or let's say uh, smaller topics for all of you. Now today's drug is going to be valproate and valproate, how we are going to learn, remember not only the facts, but also how to remember now and forever. We are going to remember, uh, I mean, we are going to study now, but I'm making sure to all of you that everyone who is watching me, you will remember valproate valproate throughout your life through the stories out the mnemonic that i always use in my class now valproate ke mein, first and foremost you all should know that it's a very broad spectrum anti epileptic drug and in my uh, previous session in my youtube channel itself i have discussed with all of you guys that there is something called your uh, uh, glutamate and on the presynaptic uh, of uh, presynaptic neuron of the glutamate there is something called your voltage gated sodium channel so the main mechanism of action of valproate is mainly acting by inhibiting voltage gated sodium channel but do remember this is not the only mechanism of action this is the main mechanism of action undoubtedly but there are other mechanism through which valproate is mainly going to work voltage gated sodium channel blocker apart from that on the thalamus we are having t-type calcium channel so it is also having t-type calcium channel blocking property this series this session that i have started is not only important for pg and ICD, but also for our second prop student because they will be given a question write short note on valproate and that's it these are the information that you need to write and i'm pretty sure you'll be getting maximum mark out of it apart from that remember valproate works with multiple ways right so multiple ways may they are the gaba transaminase inhibitor and they are also inhibitor of ssa dehydrogenase that is succinic semi-aldehyde dehydrogenase succinic semi-aldehyde dehydrogenase let me tell you what is succinic semi-aldehyde de uh, succinic semi-aldehyde is one of the intermediate metabolite of gaba whenever gaba is uptaken back reuptaken back inside the gaba neuron remember they are broken down with the help of an enzyme called gaba transaminase to succinic semi-aldehyde and the next enzyme is going to be succinic semi-aldehyde dehydrogenase this is going to cause metabolism of the gaba do remember this question this exact image was also asked in one of the recent INICT examination they gave the recent image and they asked you which drug is going to work here and they just put the X mark here and they ask which drug is going to work here right? so Vega Betrine if you know Vega Betrine it's one of the GABA transaminase inhibitor it's a GABA transaminase inhibitor but Valproate as a drug it is not only a GABA transaminase but also succinic so semi aldehyde dehydrogenase inhibitor ssa dehydrogenase inhibitor do remember this one so again we are not going to discuss gaba drug mainly i am telling you gaba uh, ko kaise badhata hai valproate can also increase the gaba always remember they never directly act at the gaba receptor never directly act at the gaba mediated chloride channel no on that benzodiazepine and barbiturate will be working but valproate as a drug they are having succinic semi dehydrogenase inhibitor and gaba transaminase inhibitor apart from that it is also one of the this compound it's also one of the potent inhibitor of the histone deacetylase therefore there will be lesser or i would say no gene transcription that is involved in your epilepsy development so this information has been taken from goodman gilman and remember this sometime examiner directly pick the line from there that which of the following anti-epileptic drug has potent inhibiting property of the histone deacetylase so histone deacetylase property is also seen with your valproate remember its uses as i told you is a broad spectrum they are not only used in epilepsy of course they can be utilized as a first line drug in a patient with generalized tonic clonic seizure in partial seizure but there are some uh, places that they also say they are the drug of choice for GTCS. But according to uh, the recent paper, they say that lamotrigine should be the preferred for GTCS as a drug of choice due to less hepatotoxicity. And valproate, remember, guys, it's a highly hepatotoxic agent. They are drug of choice in a patient with the myoclonic seizure. They are the drug of choice in atonic seizure, clonic seizure atypical absence seizure what is atypical absence seizure any absence seizure if there is a post ictal deficit or if there is an absence seizure with the motor involvement usually absence seizure means there is no post ictal deficit there is no motor involvement but if it is presenting with any of these we call it as a atypical absence seizure which may be it's a drug of choice driver syndrome which is a variant of uh, generalized tonic clonic seizure or i would say res uh, resistant cases of the generalized tonic clonic seizure in that it is a drug of choice and lennox gastaut syndrome which is a recurrent episode which is characterized by recurrent episode re, uh, epileptic episode of a seizure that is lennox gastaut syndrome in that case scenario also it is considered the drug of choice remember we simply call it as a lgs lennox gastaut syndrome there are newer drugs as well for driver syndrome that we know that is tyrepentol or lennox gastaut syndrome that i have told you in my previous lectures as well we don't want to go into uh, those details right? now 
अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज यूजेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एपिलेप्टिक यूजेस दैट दे आर यूज इन मल्टीपल सीजर अब देखिए तो दे आर वर्किंग इन बाय मल्टीपल वेज एंड दे आर बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड इन मल्टीपल सीजर एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल काइंड ऑफ सीजर में दे आर बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे आर आल्सो यूटिलाइज्ड एज अ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन अ रैपिड साइकलर नाउ हु इज द केस ऑफ रैपिड साइकलर गाइस एनीवन हु इज हैविंग यू नो इन अ बाइपोलर डिसऑर्डर बाइपोलर डिसऑर्डर मोर देन इक्वल टू फोर एपिसोड पर ईयर और फोर साइकिल पर ईयर वट इज फोर एपिसोड और फोर साइकिल मैनिया एंड डिप्रेशन मैनिया एंड डिप्रेशन हुआ दैट इज वन साइकिल है ना सो इफ इट इज गोइंग टू बी फोर और मोर देन फोर वी कॉट इज अ रैपिड साइकिल इट्स ऑल्सो कंसिडर द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन अ पेशेंट विद द सीडन हैम्स कोरिया सीडन हैम्स कोरिया है ना सीडन हैम कोरिया में इट्स अ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस प्लस इट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द ड्रग दैट इज यूटिलाइज द प्रोफिलैक्सिस ऑफ माइग्रेन यू सी एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग का नॉन एपिलेप्टिक यूज इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट पैटर्न ऑफ क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज वेर एग्जाम विल बी गिविंग यू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग द नॉन एपिलेप्टिक यूज ऑफ दिस एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग सो डू रिमेंबर दिस वन दीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज अ नॉन एपिलेप्टिक यूज है ना रेपिड साइकिलर में सीडन हैम कोरियन ऑल्सो प्रिफर्ड एज अ प्रोफिलेक्टिक ऑफ माइक्रेन प्लस इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द सीजर दे आर द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस रिमेंबर है ना Apart from that, if I uh, discuss with all of you guys, there are important pharmacokinetic property. Remember, they are having good oral absorption, and blood-brain barrier definitely will be crossing, and they are having good, uh, you know, uh, uh, secretion inside the CSF, and that is how we are also receiving our anti-epileptic effect. Plus, they are going to cross blood placental barrier. So, any pregnant female, if they are going to receive, they will be having some teratogenic effect, and the teratogenic effect will be one of the neural tube defect, and we call this neural tube defect as a spina bifida. we call this one as a spina spina bifida theek okay? hai this is the neural tube defect that we always see sometime what examiner will do sometime they can give you an image ek image rahega baby ka and on the image of the baby at the back of the baby ka image hai na image ke back pe yahan pe jo hai ki aapko ek tuft of hair ya hai na open aapka ye spinal cord uh, rahega or there will be tuft of hair and they can ask you which of the following drug could be a possible reason for this condition right so valproate is the most teratogenic remember is the most teratogenic anti epileptic drug it undergoes hepatic metabolism up to 95% of the drug are getting metabolized in uh, the liver and only 5% of them being excreted in unchanged form via kidney they are also having potent enzyme inhibiting property remember they are having enzyme inhibiting property sometime examiner also ask are this substrate of cyp3 a4 the answer is no they remember that hai na they are actually cyp2c9 cyp2c9 therefore any drug that is getting metabolized with cyp2c19 will get affected by valproate a very good example could be your phenytoin a very good example could be your warfarin right so their metabolism can get affected because they are very very potent enzyme inhibitor not the inhibitor of cyp3 a4 of course cyp2c19 Preferably, therapeutic plasma concentration remember 50 to 100, right? Lot of information that I am telling you. Just believe me and have faith that after some time you will be able to recall in one click everything that I am telling you here. Okay. Apart from that, the last point that I will be discussing here, and after that we will have a short story, and then we will end this session. The side effect of valproate you can remember very easily by the simple mnemonic of valproate that is vomiting, alopecia, liver toxicity, pancreatitis, pancytopenia that means they are going to cause bone marrow suppression, retention of fat that is causing weight gain, and uh, this weight gain in female will be leading to polycystic ovarian syndrome and this is one of the gender specific side effect. Can also lead to edema, anorexia, tremor, and potent enzyme inhibiting property as well. Do remember. that liver toxicity is a very very important or i would say sometime it can also lead to fulminant hepatic failure fulminant hepatic failure this is one of the very dangerous or i would say a grave side effect of this particular agent the name of the agent is valproate now if you have heard everything about valproate don't panic at all remember the valproate if you are going to look at the family of anti epileptic drug they are quite older drug from the anti epileptic drug ke group ke they are the older drug so they are like the old grandfather of the epilepsy epilepsy ke jitne bhi drugs hain unke ye old grandfather hain like a old grandfather in the family that you know who can work or who can do one work via multiple ways है ना तो सोडियम को भी ब्लॉक किया कैल्शियम को भी ब्लॉक किया गाबा को भी बढ़ा दिया कैसे बाय इनहिबिटिंग गाबा ट्रांसामाइन इज बाय इनहिबिटिंग योर है ना सक्सिन सेमियरली हाई डिहाइड्रोजिनेस है ना सो दे आर वर्किंग बाय मल्टीपल वेज लाइक ग्रैंडफादर इन द फैमिली दे विल बी इफेक्टिव इन लॉट ऑफ फैमिलियल एक्टिविटी ऑलमोस्ट एवरी फैमिलियल एक्टिविटी में ग्रैंडफादर का इन्वॉल्वमेंट होता है तो वैसे ही इनका ये ग्रैंडफादर के जैसे ही सब जगह पे इनका यूटिलाइजेशन होगा एंड दे आर वेरी प्राइमरी ड्रग है ना इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कंडीशन लाइक माइक्रोनिक एटोनिक एटिपिकल ड्राइवर सिंड्रोम 
and our Lennox Gastaut syndrome plus GTCS and, and the partial CJ group also we can utilize. And like grandfather, who is effective not only in family but extra familial uh, work as well, like social work may be kafi involved right there. So, rapid cycler may they are the drug of choice. Syrian ham korea may they are the drug of choice. Headache ho raha hai, to again they are uh, headache, matlab, migraine ki baat karo. Prophylaxis of migraine we also we can utilize. Now, I am telling you a story of old grandfather in a family, and I ask you to remember a grandfather who is in the age group of around 50 to 100. What is the age group of grandfather 50 to 100 is the age group of uh, you know the grandfather and whenever you try to do you know uh, anything uh, out of the way or you try to go for a night party he will always be there to stop you so old grandfather is always going to stop you inhibit you don't do that don't do that and you know? don't do uh, don't go here and you know? don't go there he will always be there to stop you old grandfather in the family now when he was young old grandfather when he was young remember he used to take shots of his uh, alcohol and because of that he has lost his uh, you know liver pancreas dono hi jawab de rahe liver pancreas are gone old grandfather now has gained his weight lost his hair old grandfather ko bas yaad karte chaliye ka sari cheeze apne aap simplify ho rahi hain theek hai old grandfather lost his hair hai na gained weight and again remember tremor bhi aa raha hai old grandfather ko tremor bhi aa raha hai so do remember this story of old grandfather and if i ask you very very simple story guys tell me what is the therapeutic plasma concentration of the valproate see some textbook may also written 30 to 100 in fact goodman gilman itself written 30 to 100 but many other places may they have given a range of 50 to 100 so what is the old grandfather of the uh, old grandfather ka age kya 50 to 100 to maine bata diya old grandfather ka age se aapko yaad rakhna hai apart from that if anyone is going to ask you that which of the following drug is having enzyme inhibiting property among anti epileptic drugs which of the following anti epileptic drug is inhibiting property old grandfather is always going to inhibit you stop you so valproate is the one that is having enzyme inhibiting property close your eyes and uh, I just listen to my question what is the side effect of valproate don't look anywhere don't look on the slide just remember imagine the old grandfather and you'll be able to write five six side effect very very easily old grandfather pe karna hai. old grandfather who has gained weight having tremor lost his hair le rahe the na alcohol le rahe the to liver pancreas sare ke sare chale gaye itni si baatein agar likh dete hain to your examiner will definitely be very happy and will be more than happy to give you uh, na, maximum mark ba baki ye sab pharmacokinetic wali detail is not very very important if you are writing if you are a second prop student definitely you can write and what is the teratogenic effect of this one that is a spina bifida sometimes there is the image based question as well and this is the image that i have already uh, tried to make it here for all of you guys okay so this was a valproate that i wanted to summarize uh, for all of you guys and remember everything about valproate we have summarized and i'll be seeing you uh, more in my upcoming class or i would say with the upcoming drug if uh, you like the uh, lecture here or if you like this content here please uh, let me know in the comment section also don't forget to like share and subscribe let your friends know also about the content that we are discussing here and you can also let me know what are the other topic that you want me to discuss here definitely i'll put that in my list and i will try to shoot it as soon as possible thank you very much to all of you guys i'll see you in my upcoming class